Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Closet Confections. I'm your host, Kendra, and today I'm going to show you all the gorgeous goodies that I got from Target. Specifically, Target's designer dress collaboration featuring Kushni, Love Shack Fancy, and Lisa Marie Fernandez. So, I am so excited. As you can see, your girl might have gone a little bit overboard because... That's what I do. <laughs> but yes, I'm very excited to try all of these on and share them with you guys, let you know my thoughts, the good, the bad, and the straight up ugly. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get on to the dresses. All right, so first up we have this neon stunner from Kushni. So the Carly Kushni collection, um, I actually discovered it uh, I was looking for, searching for online black designers to support and Carly Kushney came up and I loved her design. And that's how I stumbled upon this whole like Target collection from the get go. Cause you know, her pieces are kind of pricey. Um, and I was like, ooh, she's doing a collab with uh, Target. So I decided to go for it. So I was most excited about these dresses. Um, but to be honest, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, this dress is gorgeous. The pieces are gorgeous. Um, but I don't know, I was kind of disappointed. Like this was a designer that I was rooting for and really, really excited about um, because, you know, much like Issa Rae, um, I'm rooting for everybody black. <laughs> But um, I don't know. I just feel like these dresses don't necessarily flatter my body type. I've seen some other women try them on and they look amazing. But this one, for me, I don't know. This is like the best of the two that I got. Um, but I think my husband kind of summed it up best. He was like, you know, <laughs> your boobs look amazing in this dress. Like, I'm not wearing a bra here. <laughs> which I never do because like once you get past like a double D cup you kind of always have to wear a bra but this um, dress actually works better without one um so yeah he was like you know your body looks amazing in this dress but like the dress itself is hideous um and like I don't know if I would go so far as to say the dress is hideous but it looks kind of dated like online I don't know I thought this would like be a little bit more forgiving because you guys know after having a kid you know I had come up boobs or uh, extra sized <laughs> um, and uh, I have a bit of a tummy so this I thought could provide some camouflage but to me this looks kind of dated like this little knot tie in the front this cool color this color this color is gorgeous and I would think it would look even more so on like chocolate skin this like neon kind of greenish yellow color and then the major note for me was just like the seam down the front like I don't know what that's about like with slip dresses I've never seen that before it just uh, I don't know I, I go back and forth like I don't maybe if I like lost a little bit I've been wearing my waist trainer and working out so <laughs> if I whittle my little my middle a bit um it might look better but I don't feel confident and sexy like I thought this would be like a cute sexy going out dress and you know for the most part too if hubby doesn't like it like he said literally this dress looked hideous um <laughs> it kind of precludes me from feeling sexy on a date night so on to the next one. All right, peeps, and here's the second look from the Carly Kushney collection. I was so excited about this dress when I saw it online. I had to have it, fell in love immediately. And again, it's a disappointment. <laughs> So as you can see, I kind of like squeezed into this dress again. I could not even get a bra on with this one. Um, and I went up to a size 16 in this. Um, I usually wear like a 14, maybe even a 12. So I sized up and it's still just, uh. and then the major design flaw is like right here. I feel like this piece here, it's like this satiny material here and it's like this chiffon wrap, I'm sorry pleated chiffon on the side and it just kind of like I don't know it buckles out so because like I said I really 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 was rooting <laughs> for Carly um so I did go ahead and get this in another size which I will show you now so yeah I sized up to an 18 guys I don't I've never worn an 18 in anything um but again I was taking one for the team and I Calling me on the house phone. 
All right, so the bigger size is even worse. Like uh, the jump from 16 um, was a regular size, so 18, this is an 18W, so plus size. And it's a huge difference. I think there's like a four inch difference in the waist. Um, and for me, it still had that little problem with the, this like weird pucker here on the side. I think the transition from this like pleated chiffon to the, the satin, it just, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't work. Um, and I don't even think it's anything that a tailor, sorry, it's a loose thread. I don't even think it's anything a tailor could fix. So sadly, both of these dresses are going back. I might try one or two last pieces. Cause like I said, I've seen other people wear these dresses and I've watched a couple more reviews. So I think that perhaps this dress and this dress might work for your girl. So stay tuned. Okay, next up we have this gorgeous white linen dress from the Lisa Marie Fernandez collection. So of the three collections, I would say that this one, this designer had the best quality pieces. I bought two dresses and this one is made of like a nice um, thick quality linen. And it's also, is it fully lined? Yeah, it's also fully lined. Wait, let me double check that. Yeah, no, it's lined. <laughs> Uh, it's fully lined and then it has this pink and yellow rickrack um, detail across the bodice and across the bottom. I love the drop waist. It kind of gives it like a 1920s kind of like flapper dress feel, but appropriate for like a summer um, day picnic. It's a cute dress. The only thing that I don't like about it, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure if I like if it bothers me enough to return it. I'm on the fence, but normally I love a dress with pockets. But in this case, I feel like the placement, see how they like pucker out a bit? And I feel like it gives me like additional girth here that I don't need. Like I feel like this dress will look great if it just kind of like went straight down and kind of flirted at the bottom. So I could sew the pockets shut which I have done that and that's like a little tip for you guys um if you have a dress like this where like the pockets just kind of flare out so maybe I will try that like throw some stitches in there and see how I like it um because otherwise this dress is beautiful has a nice weight to it I think it looks like pretty decent quality for Target and um I think in those like dog days of summer when it's like 90 plus degrees out and you don't want anything like touching your skin, this will be the dress that I would reach for. Like this is perfect. You can even use it as like a beach cover up. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Let me down in the comments. Would you keep this dress and maybe sew up the pockets, leave it as is, or just go ahead and return it? Would love to know. Oh, also want to show you guys this dress does come with a belt um, like I said with this pocket situation I would definitely not wear it belted um, just because I feel like it kind of gives you like like a I don't know not a coke bottle figure but it's just like too wavy and lumpy I feel like with the belt so I'm gonna try sewing the pocket shut and see if that makes it better and then the belt might be an option but just wanted to show you guys that it does come with one all right guys, this is the second piece that I got from the Lisa Marie Fernandez collection. And I love it. This is the perfect like casual seersucker gingham summer day dress. Oh. Like preppy style is kind of like my roots. <laughs> and I love wearing preppy things in the fall and summer especially. And this just screams prep. I love it so much. <laughs> So yeah, first of all, pink is my favorite color. I love gingham. Um, seersucker is just like a nice, cool fabric. So I love that a gingham dress in the summertime. This dress has pockets, but unlike the other one, this is more like a tent style. Um, and I feel like the, the pockets don't add like extra girth. They don't pucker like that other dress did. So I like that. And then this one also comes with a belt. <laughs> so yeah, I love it with the belt. I feel like it gives it more of like a 50s shirt waist dress sort of silhouette. Um, actually, do I kind of like a waitress with this? Maybe. <laughs> but anyway, I love this dress so much. I think it's perfect for like a casual day in the park. Um, if outside is open where you are, maybe brunch or something like that. Or even just with a pair of like white canvas sneakers, you could wear it just to run errands and bop around the city. So very, very happy with um, this piece, definitely. Like I said, other three collections, I think that this one had the best quality and like the fabrics and whatnot. So 
on to the next one. All right, peeps, so next up we have my first piece from the Love Shack Fancy Collection. Truth be told, this is probably my favorite collection of the bunch because I just feel like it fits my style. Like very feminine, kind of romantic, um, easy breezy, just uh, the epitome of summer. So <laughs> this first dress, um, I probably most likely will be using this as a house dress because it just reminds me <laughs> when I used to go visit my grandmother um, when I was a little girl growing up. <clears throat> She would always give me one of her old like nightgowns to wear and of course i was like five or six years old so they'd be huge on me but um it was usually things like this <laughs> and this just reminds me of like just like a little country day dress um you could absolutely wear this out i think for a picnic it would be lovely but around the house you know this quarantine got your girl cooking and cleaning like <laughs> like it's 1955 um so might as well look cute doing it but yeah i love it i love the um, sort of uh, reminds me of like a liberty of london with this floral print um and i love how it's like three yeah three different colors uh it also has this like brick wreck um trim around each tier and this dress is fully lined and it has like a nice little um twirl and weight to it and it has pockets who doesn't love a nightgown with pockets <laughs> But yeah, I just love this one. It just feels so girly. It kind of reminds me of like an 80s like gunny sacks dress. I used to be obsessed with those. I used to be really, really into vintage shopping and I had this vintage gunny sacks dress that unfortunately no longer fits me so I sold it. But um, this gives me that kind of vibe and I just live for it. Okay, peeps, moving right along. Another Love Shack fancy dress. Also love this one. So this piece is one of the dresses that I really, really wanted from this collection, and it sold out within, like, seconds. Like, literally, I was on Target's website at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> as soon as the collection dropped, and I had added this. I tried to add it to my cart, and it was sold out, so I could only get it in the extra large, which is honestly a little bit too big. It's actually a lot too big. Like, I have tons of room here, but, you know, your girl made it work. <laughs> I just really, really wanted this dress. So, oh, I love the little shoulder ties. It's just made of like a cotton material that has a nice weight to it. This one is not lined like that other sort of um, nightgown-y dress that I showed you previously. This one um, um, does not, it does have pockets, but it is not lined. And again, I just love the three different colors of this floral sort of fabric. We have a visitor. Hold on a second. Hi, baby boy. <laughs> Hi, baby boy. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we're joined by a little visitor. Hi, Christian. He's having his breakfast now. I always try to get these videos done before he wakes up, but I failed. <laughs> Anyway, back to this dress. Yeah, I love it. It's super lightweight. I wore it actually. Eric and I had a picnic in the park and it was sweltering that day. And I was so grateful to have this dress because, again, like I don't like anything like touching my skin when it's super hot outside. So this was nice and easy and breezy to wear. And I love it. Again, this is going to be another one that you could just wear around the house because I'm stuck inside a lot <laughs> lately. Um, I don't think I've left my neighborhood in like almost four months. <laughs> Luckily, I love my neighborhood. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> but yes, I love this dress. And um, again, I got it maybe like two sizes too big. I think even a medium um, could have done me. So you can definitely size down in this dress because it's a lot of fabric. But with that being said, let's go on to the next frock. All right, peeps, and next up from the Love Shack Fancy Collection, this dress I have mixed feelings about. I think the silhouette is gorgeous. If you recall, I have another dress very similar to this in blue and white polka dot that I got from Shein, and I'll pop a picture up, but the thing that I'm on the fence about is, oh, so, when I saw it online, this is my fault for not paying attention to the description, I thought that it was more of like a cottony type of material, but it actually turns out it's um, smocked at the top and it's this kind of like polyester satiny 
material instead. So I felt like if it was cotton, it would give it more of like a casual vibe and I could just wear it, you know, um, like out to the park and because that's pretty much what I do these days <laughs> and that kind of thing. But I feel like the satin makes it a little bit dressier. Um, so this belt is more like a cottony type of material and more what I was expecting from the rest of the dress. And I'll show you what it looks like without the belt. I like the belt, but I feel like um, because it has this like ruffle detail here, um, I think that I might prefer it without the belt. Um, unless maybe I had a pair of like butter yellow shoes. Ooh, I think that would look really cute with this. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I'm on the fence about this material because again, I feel like it makes it more dressy and you know, your girl ain't going nowhere for a while. Like for me, 2020 is canceled, um, straight up. So <laughs> with that being said, again, would love to know you guys' thoughts in the comments. Um, what do you think about this dress? Should I keep it? Because it is beautiful and hopefully, you know, um, outside will be back open again for us here in New York City. I mean, Technically, it's open, but like, I'm letting the first wave of people go out first and test that out. <laughs> so yeah, just let me know what you guys think. All right, so I've told you guys before that I live for white eyelet dresses in the summer. I have a whole collection, and I always treat myself to a new one each summer. Um, I showed you guys in my previous video that white eyelet jumpsuit that I got from J. Crew, and this is my newest addition to the collection, and I love it so much. I love the fun little twist because it's a white eyelet, but it also has these gorgeous, um, pretty feminine little pink roses all over, so I feel like it just adds a little something something and I'm so happy with this dress it's just so romantic and feminine I have a whole photo shoot planned for this dress let's hope it works out um, and stay tuned for that on my Instagram definitely follow me there <laughs> but yes I love this dress all right you all so last but definitely not least we have this gorgeous pink off the shoulder number with again that smocking detail and a gorgeous floral print. It has one, two, three, four tiers of ruffles. <sighs> and I just feel like a vision in this dress. I love it. <laughs> again, I don't really know where I'm gonna be wearing this to. Um, <laughs> this would be an awesome dress to wear to like a summer wedding. Oh, this would be so pretty to wear. Um, but for now, I'll just be wearing it um, to the grocery store and for uh, picnics in the park. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love this dress. It definitely gives me like those romantic vibes. And it's this one is cotton and it has this sort of um, detailing around each tier of ruffles that we see here. Okay, this one is not lined, but again, it has so many layers of ruffles. I don't really think you need a lining. And again, to wear it in the summertime, I think a lining will make this a little bit too hot. So I love this dress. This is more the material that I thought that white dress with a yellow belt. I was expecting it to be this material throughout. So I'm very pleased with this dress. I feel like there's like a lot of ruffles and a lot of flowers going on in this collection, but I am totally here for it. That is definitely my vibe. And... <laughs> Again, I can't say enough good things. So all in all, um, I was pleased with my purchases. Again, that that cushiony collection, you know, I'm still gonna give it a try. I have two more dresses in mind that I'm gonna try out and I will let you guys know how those work out. The Lisa Marie Fernandez, if you have I don't know if anyone has vacation coming up, but if you do, <laughs> or if you want to just um, have some like good quality um, summer pieces, again, the linen is like nice, um, has a weight to it, everything's fully lined, has pockets, can't say enough. And then Love Shack Fancy, this collection sold out like almost immediately. I will link whatever I can, and like, you know, Target gets popbacks and returns a lot, so set up notifications. But this collection sold out super fast, um, and I just think these pieces are probably probably my favorites um, just in terms of style. I've heard mixed things about the quality but I feel like given the price point like each dress was about 50 maybe $60 um, and from having come from Target. But I think the designs are definitely there and they do you know for Target I think they seem like great quality. I don't quality. feel like that I got cheated based on what I paid so I'm happy with my purchases. So, all right guys and that is a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in listening to me talk about clothes. <laughs> As always 
don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications. I put out videos like this once a week, sometimes twice. <laughs> and definitely let me know down in the comments what your favorite dress was, your favorite designer. If you've got anything from the Target um, dress collection, I know a lot of the pieces sold out very quickly, but let me know if you were able to nab something. And as always, until next time, stay classy and stay fabulous. Thank you.